Hello my friends, and welcome back to my Skyrim VR Mods video series. Continuing coverage of New Land Quest expansion mods, and today I wanted to give you my thoughts on the Grey Cowl of Nocturnal. It's a DLC-sized mod that takes you into the desert world of Hammerfell. This new land feels truly fresh and original compared to the usual Skyrim landscapes. The mod plays great in VR, but there were a couple of things about it that sometimes broke immersion for me. The quest is intended for thief characters. As such, it all starts after you steal or pickpocket any item. You'll then receive a very jarring and loud vision right before your eyes. Whoa, jeez. Holy cow. The vision leads you to meet the Keepers, who will then send you on your journey to retrieve the Grey Cowl of Nocturnal. So that's why I had a vision before coming here. Yes, it's the call of the Grey Fox. He knows who you are, what you want, and why. And it's that journey that leads you into Hammerfell. But the way to actually enter Hammerfell is rather long and convoluted. It involves going through many different dungeons, portals, and mazes. It's an epic transition period that even takes you in and out of oblivion itself along the way. <laughs> what have we here? A new pet for my realm? Huh? You again? What a surprise! <laughs> we meet again, my friend. It took me about two hours of play before I even entered Hammerfell. The long transition quest I would prefer to skip, but that's just me. Once you're finally there, I think that's where the real fun begins. The new city, overall atmosphere, and custom music are really fun to explore and take in. Besides the friendly city, you'll of course need to explore dangerous areas including new pyramid dungeons. Traversing and fighting in the pyramids is a real treat. You'll face new mummy enemies that are extremely challenging to fight, as well as unique puzzles and mazes that fit perfectly in these new dungeon atmospheres. And beware of spiders, both large and small. I finished the main quest in about 7 hours, and I had a great time, but there were a couple of things that I wish were more polished. The main city is fun, but it feels rather sparse. For being the central hub in this new land, I was hoping for more NPCs, buildings, and an overall more lively place. I hate to complain about such a thing when I can tell that a tremendous amount of work was lovingly poured into this mod. But ever since playing Beyond Skyrim Bruma, I think I've become spoiled in my expectations and hoping for more thriving cities. The second thing that took me out of it was the voice acting. There is some good voice acting, but unfortunately, most of the time, I found it distracting. Welcome to our village, Ben Erai. Well, thank you, but what's going on? We are the descendants of those who remained here during the Kayo Ambranov's mission, Dragonborn. We are here to help you. We've been awaiting your arrival for 200 years, but please, let's go now to Lady Slory, our village chef. Having said that, I had a great time and I'm glad I played it. And despite those two things on my wish list, I still recommend you play it in VR because the new desert atmosphere is so visually refreshing and fun to explore. Thanks again for watching my Skyrim VR Mods video series. The frequency of this series might slow down a bit after Half-Life Alex comes out, but I do plan to continue testing and covering mods for as long as I can. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya!